seas where they ever meet so that one of them will not transgress against the other. If you go to this our own beach in Lagos here, you will see that barrier between the ocean and the Osa. Ocean, we call that one open. That Osa, that is the sea. Open, the water is salty. The water of that ocean is salty. And that of the sea is not salty. Allah now put a barrier between them. Here in our Lagos, our own Lagos in Nigeria, it is there. That is how we met Allah in many other places of the world. You find it in Asia, you find it in Europe, you find it in America. We find it in Australia. So we find it like that. Two seas of different kinds. One will be salty, the other one will not be salty. Even you see two rivers. One is very hot, the other one is very cold. It's the work of others one over the other. And I think you will know people have that one. You know, those things. Because it's everything. Now? Because it's everything. It's everything. You don't know? You don't have to know? I won't know. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's not everything it's state. Okay. Aha. Hot and cold water. And the side of each other. And they will never transgress. It's the work of Allah. So when we are talking about Barzakh, which is the name? Of that kind of barrier, the same name is now being borrowed to describe. Don't let your hand touch that. You don't disturb it. So, you see, that same barzakh barrier is what is used for the life in grain because it is demarcating the world we are. As different from the year after. This one where we are, both souls and bodies are living here. It is when the souls depart, the bodies, that you see that a person is dead. And when he dies like that, he is going to the barrier, the barrier in between this world and the next one. The next one shall come with resurrection. There, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will judge among his creations. And that is why what people on the borderline are saying that uh, when their kingdom come, meaning that Jesus, Jesus Christ, Adil Salatu wa Salam, is the one going to judge. That is not the faith. Muslims cherish. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself is the judge. And that is why he said in Surah Al-Fatihah, Allah is the one in control of that day. Because before the resurrection shall come, here in the world, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala after making everything spoil and nothing remains he will say Anna the Malik I am the Baru I am the Majesty's King who are those that used to call his majesty where are they now? But nobody will be able to answer him. And that is why he will be the one to answer himself and say, Lead Larry, why are you going to That everything today has now belonged to the only one God who is in control.
and he's overwhelming everything. La ilaha illallah. We thank Almighty Allah for making us Muslims. It is good to be Muslims. And we thank Almighty Allah for that. That is for that verse. And uh, our aim is to pause there before we will come to verse 172. What does that verse say? Verse 172. Inclusive. 
because he was badly injured. Even he lost some of his teeth, his incisors. He lost them at that battle. Maybe you people don't know the meaning of losing a teeth. Anybody that has ever experienced things on his teeth will understand what I'm saying. There was a time I have problem with one of the teeth here. It affected my head. My brain was boiling. <laughs> my brain was boiling. And the pain was just from the teeth. That was why I had to visit how do you call those doctors? Dentists to remove it. It was when we started the movie that I had the rest of mind. A dentist first removed it halfway and the pain continued. I now went to another dentist who removed the remaining from the root. It was when they removed it that I said, hey, Subhanallah. So, this thing that we have, the base is bigger and greater than the one you see outside. outside. Subhanallah. 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 This book that we are using, Atefsir Muyasa, those who compiled it have this to tell us about verse 172. Al-Ladina Lakka Unida and what was Those who still had the courage of responding to the call of Allah and his messenger, wa kharaju fi aqabil mushrikeen, and still made an effort to get out to pursue the idol worshippers in a Hamran Asad to a nearby place known as Hamran Asad outside Medina on the way to Makkah. Ba'da has he mounted him to Gazuwat Uhud even after they are defeated in the battle of Uhud. Even with all that was with them of pains and wounds. And they still had the courage of expending, the, the, expending their maximum effort to scare the infidels. People who are injured, scaring <laughs> those who are hell and healthy. Watazamu bihadi ina bi yihim. He and those who adhered to the guidance of their prophet. Lilmusinina minhum wal mutaki. Those among them who are Real good to us and by us, for them shall be a great reward. That is the explanation of our scholars who made Atensi and Muyasa. Well, we may have to stop there. Because of our time, I mean, uh, let us stop there. Inshallah, in the next sitting, we will quickly go back to whatever remains of this explanation. Allahumma rabbana alayka tawakalna wa ilayka anabna wa ilayka al فانصرنا نصرا عزيزا واسترنا سترا منيعا اللهم لا تجعل للكافرين ولا للمنافقين علينا سبيلا 
فإنك الحي القيوم وبرحمتك نستغيث أصلح لنا شأننا كله ولا تكلنا إلى أنفسنا طرف العين يا عزيز يا مغفار يا رب العالمين ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنا وفي الآخرة حسنا وكن عذاب النار وسبحان ربك رب العزة عما يسفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين وسبحانك اللهم الحمد نشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت نستغفرك ونتوب إليك. Finish. Pause. Finish. Yeah. Pause it.